welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni with This Busy Mama and today I have a Goodwill haul for you. What started off as a not so good trip, what I thought, at the Goodwill, uh, it turned into some major profits. So let's get started and see what we picked up. First I'm going to start with this beautiful leather backpack. This was one of the last things that I picked up. I don't usually pick up stuff like this, but now since I have my own website and it doesn't necessarily have to be all vintage items, um, I can I can sell things like this on there. And this is so buttery soft. I wish you could feel how soft this leather is. But this bag is made by Canyon Outback leather goods and um, this, this part of it is not leather and the inside of course is not leather but it is in really really good shape and there are there's a couple little oil spots right there now somebody had some food stuck all over this thing and I cleaned it all off today but I couldn't get those oil spots off. Does anybody know how, if you can even get oil spots off of leather? If you, if you can do that, let me know in the comments. That would be helpful. Anyways, I paid $10 for this bag and I'm gonna sell it on my website, thisbusymama.com for $85. If I had a use for a backpack, I would totally keep this, but I don't, so. <laughs> Unless I used it for thrifting, when I go thrifting, I, that might work. All right, so the next thing is another purse, well, a purse, and this is leather also, and it's made in India. It's got these little, like, I don't know, do you call that engraved? That's what I called it, engraved flowers. This is hand stitched. It's so pretty. And it's really, really light. Like, it's just leather. That's it. There's nothing else to this besides the little metal pieces that hold it together. It is, it has a little tag inside. I don't know if I can show it here. It's not gonna show up. There, maybe. Made in India. 100% leather. So I got this one for $5. And I'm gonna sell it. It'll be on my website. And eventually it will be on Etsy also, this one. This is vintage. But I haven't had a chance to list on Etsy yet. Those are on my website though, if you're interested in those. So I think I said that one will be 40. Okay, so next, this was the first thing that I found at Goodwill. And I, Christmas is coming, so I have to start getting these things because I need Christmas stuff, vintage Christmas stuff in my shop. So this is a little Christmas mouse and it's a bell. And it's bisque. It could also be an ornament because it does have the little string at the top. This made by Jasco in Taiwan. And I paid a dollar for it and I'm going to sell that one for eight dollars. And it will be listed in both places but for now it's in my, it's on my website. Let me turn my page here. Okay, so the next thing is we have this beautiful vanity, mirrored vanity tray. And it's the filigree and it's the gold tone. This is metal. The bottom, the felt has rubbed off mostly. Um, the mirror does have a few little scratches. I don't know if I can, yeah, you can see some of those there. Um, this is a pretty, 
it's a neat size tray. I mean, not size, but shape. It's not really oval. It's kind of rectangle, rounded rectangle. I like this. I think it's really pretty and it would look beautiful with some pretty um, art glass perfume bottles on it or anything you want to put on it really. Make your dresser pretty or your bathroom counter too. That would work pretty. Your soap and lotion on here. Anyways, I paid $3.39 for this and that's on my website for $40 and it will be on Etsy soon. And the next thing I found, and this is just totally out of my realm, but I thought I've seen Jocelyn, the crazy lamp lady, picking up beaded purses on her channel. And I thought, I'm going to give it a try. So this is a vintage drawstring beaded bag, and it's reversible. And this is called Candy Dot and Caviar. As you can see, this looks like candy. Now, when you turn it around, turn it inside out, it looks like caviar. <laughs> And as far as I could tell, all of the beads are there. I couldn't find any missing beads. So that's a pretty good thing to not have any beads missing. And this is like a, I can't think of what that material is, but it's really, really thick, like a, a cable. So, I paid $3.39 for this bag and I'm going to sell it for $38. Okay, next we have these salt and pepper shakers. Now when I found these at Goodwill, I only found the shakers. They had these on the shelf and I picked them up and I thought, wonder what the loop is for on the top. So I looked them up and it said that they hung from something like this. So I went back through all the aisles until I found this and then they did give, give me a deal on the, the both of them together. I got them for one price. So that was good. I ended up paying $4.49 and these are price import says a price import. Um, when I looked up comps on these, it said that they were silver plated. It's, it says this item is tarnish resistant. So I thought if it's silver plated, then how is it tarnish resistant? Because even if it was silver plated, it would still tarnish, right? That's what I thought. But anyways, I paid $4.49 for this set, and these are glass, by the way, the grapes are glass. And I'm going to sell this for $20. It's really pretty. And the details on the base are cool too. They've got grapes and leaves on there. And the next thing was the ah moment at Goodwill when I found the fairy lamp. And I have this lit, you can't really see very well what it looks like. Maybe if I turn the light off. Let me try that real quick. This may work, we'll see. Well, it's a little better, anyway. When you put this up against the wall, and it might not work on this one, you can see it like dances on the wall. Anyways, I paid $3.39 for that fairy lamp and I'm going to sell it for $30. Okay, so now we are at these coasters. I've never seen this before. I never knew it existed. So when I saw these, I was like, well, those are going in my cart no matter what. Let me 
carefully take these out because they are a little fragile. See, they come in their own little basket holder. And they are pressed butterfly wings. Now the center is not the butterfly. This is not the butterfly. This is like a piece of paper that's um, put in there to make it look like the butterfly. Um, these are plastic, I think. They don't feel like glass to me. And the back has like this little design on it. In the background, I'm not sure what that is. It's almost like the fuzz off of a butterfly's wing is what it reminds me of. You'll notice that some of these are broken in spots, like they're missing their little wicker. And I don't know if this is wicker, pine needle, I'm not sure what they're made out of. Some people had these listed as bamboo. The ones that were listed, they said they were bamboo. I don't think it's bamboo. Maybe this part. This one, you can hardly even see the butterfly's wings in there. There's six of them. And let's see, I paid $4.49 for those, and I'm going to sell them for $25. Next, we have this little teak wood music box. It plays music. <laughs> Try not to get you in my camera there. It actually plays Love Me Tender. And it winds up on the bottom. It's got these little rubber feet. The inside is, um, it's not velvet, but it's just a real soft cream colored material. I paid $2.29 for this and I'm going to sell it for $60. You can see it's got a little chip here where the paint has come off of the leaf on the rose there. I can't believe how much those little music boxes go for. I was shocked. Like, I picked it up because it's cute and it's a little jewelry box. And I usually pick those up. So I that's why I picked it up. And then when I did the comps on it, I was shocked. So the next thing was this. I passed this up the last time I was at Goodwill and it was still there this time so I grabbed it. I did a lot of research on this today but I didn't get very far. By the shape of this shield this tells me that this is 17th century French coat of arms. Not the box, just this image that's as far as I could get with it. I, I couldn't find who it belonged to. There are initials in the medallion down here at the bottom. Uh, fingernail polish is always coming off. It says TMS, I think. Um, anyways, it is leather on the outside. It says made in Italy. I don't know if that's going to focus. Nothing wants to focus today. Oh well. It says made in Italy. It's like embossed in there. And then the inside is, I think this is teak wood too. It's in really good shape inside. The outside has some flaws, like where the leather is kind of peeling been scratched and the top has a spot here where it has been scratched too and I think this is plastic on the top it's definitely not the I word 
or bone. So no animals were harmed in the making of this. Uh, I paid $1.15 for this because it was a yellow sticker, so it was half price. $1.15, I'm going to sell it for $30. Next, I found some more teak. <laughs> These giant spoons, they're 16 and a half inches long. They have their original rope holding them together. These are salad servers and there is some damage to them like the back of the fork somebody dripped something on there that took the finish completely off and then the spoon has some scuffs on the back but it also has a nice crack so these are still great for decoration I was going to drill holes in the handles because I thought that they were the, the kind that just hang on the wall. So you very could, you very well could hang them on the wall as a decoration or just you, you can just display them however you want. I paid $1.70 for them and I'm going to sell them for $15. Next, I have this little wooden shelf with two pegs. It is 12 inches long. And I paid $2.29 for this, and I'm going to sell it for $10. It has had a repair. Like, this whole little piece right here broke off, I guess, and somebody glued it back on. You can see a little bit of the glue right there. So... There you can see pretty good that it's cracked, but it's pretty sturdy now, so it's not going anywhere. Anyways, $10 for that. And the next thing is the giant wooden house. <laughs> Knick-knack, trinket, shelf. This thing is 19 inches tall by 17 and a half inches wide. So it's pretty big, if you couldn't tell. It has these little corbels in the, what would be the front door of the house. And it has holes on the top where something's missing. I don't know what's missing, like the chimney. I don't know what else would have been up there, but something is missing. It has, hangers on the back to hang it. Also has a sticker made in Taiwan. And one of these shelves, this shelf right here, the nail popped through the top. Like it was barely on there anyway. You could just put a little bit of glue on that and it would hold, I'm sure. Or you could just take this little shelf out and then have a big area like this one for something taller. But I paid $4.49 for this, and I'm going to sell it for $30. Now, I debated on whether I should paint that white or not. Because I feel like if you paint things white, stuff that you put in it stands out a little better. But I'm leaving it as is. And if it doesn't sell in a certain amount of time, then I will probably... Go ahead and paint it, and I might use it for myself, so we'll see. The next thing I picked up was for me. <laughs> it's a potato masher. I bought this because my potato masher, just like this, lost one of its rivets, so it was kind of unstable for mashing. So I got this for a buck. So... We ended up spending $47 and about $47, not counting my dollar for my potato masher. So we are expecting to make a profit of about $384. 
That's really good. Like that leather backpack was a huge find. Huge. So not bad for a day's work. Not really a day because I spent another day listing everything and taking pictures. So a couple of days. Not bad for a couple of days work. So this brings me to the end of the video, but I wanted to let you guys know if you've made it this far, I want you to have a coupon to use in my store on my website. And it is YouTube 5, and that gives you 5% off of your total order. So um, go ahead and use that if you've made it this far. Thanks for watching. And I think that's all. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.